you know, and we're talking about keeping your emotions in check, focusing on that common goal, easy to get lost in the lights, the crowd, the intensity, the emotion of what you actually need to do. Exactly. Nobody has no idea who, who they're playing for. Nobody, you know, it could be partner versus partner like we've seen with the Bullets. Mm -hmm. Who knows what we're going to see uh, on tag team pairings for the night. Still to come tonight, uh, J-Rod, the former PWA Heritage Champion, Cruz Jones, Action Mike Jackson, Total Protection, Mr. Hughes, uh, Frankie Valentine also going to be in action tonight. Johnny Rage returning to the PWA. Still got quite a 400-pound Congolese nightmare. Who I'm going to tell you right now, guys, if he is successful in his tag team match and makes it to Battle Bowl, I don't see how anyone is going to throw the Congolese nightmare over the top rope twice, let alone once. That is a big man. And he's scary. Mm -hmm. Speaking oh. of big men, have you seen the Cobra's wife? <laughs> 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 I don't know if Trey is trying to excite himself or get under the skin of these fans, but right now he is making this place explode with excitement. But you see, Somerville is on the ground, excuse me, on the mat rather. Oh, I heard that. Taking a very hard look to the outside. Oh, actually some teamwork up. Huh? <laughs> what is Trey doing in that ring? That may be the, uh, well, it looked like someone doing the Fargo strut. We may have had a case of a uh, Some of them rose up Trey. Referee turns around. One, two, only gets a two count. But he did take advantage of the opportunity given to him, Trey, with a clothesline. I see one fan taking his shirt off at that almost three count beside himself. Actually, mild temperatures for uh, February the 18th. This time last year, we were in the same venue. It was uh, 28 degrees, uh, freezing. You never know in Georgia uh, with the weather. But I think it would be hot tonight, no matter what it was outside. Yeah, it's all this excitement. It's not cold outside. It's hot in here. We're it's warming up Earth. horribly. Yeah, that's too much to his groin region. Trey Williams. What was once Josh Storms and Somerville's match to lose, Tides certainly have turned as it seems like Trey and Tommy too much has decided to work together. It's true, they, you know, I think once they got acclimated to each other, they realized I don't like you, you don't like me, but I want the same thing you want, and by gosh, we're gonna have to work together to get an opportunity in. Tommy too much cutting off the ring here. It's a tab by Somerville, but the ref didn't see it. He's had enough. Storm needs to get on the outside of the ring and do it. Uh, oh. I gotta agree with you, Cobra Mason doing the right thing here. He did not see the tag. We all did. Oh, wow. What but did he see that? Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, my goodness. And Trey's going on the cover on Somerville. And he gets a three count. Look at and Trey and Tommy too much. He's his own tag team partner. You are tag team partners now, but later on, you're sworn enemies. I guarantee you, Bert, Tommy too much will have something to say about that super kick when it comes time for the battle board. You can add Tommy too much of the exotic ones and Trey Williams of the Washington Bullets as part of your 16 finalists that will compete in the battle board later this evening.
that's holding the elderly lady in the front row. See what you're doing. Knock out what two she had remaining. But as Tommy Too Much as his stage open door. Tommy Too Much in an altercation with a woman over by the front entrance here. Well, he's planting kisses on everybody. Is Tommy Too Much going to stay outside of the lane until battle day? I just hope a lot of these people keep their clothes on. Not that <laughs> I just got a question. You think he's delaying his entrance? That's what I wonder. You know, Kamesh, I'm sorry to cut you off, but we grew up with, in the age of ravishing Rick Rude, you know, Paul Orndorff, you know, the, the pretty ones back in the 80s and 90s. And how do we evolve to something like this? That's what I was going to say. If he's sexy and I know it, then I'm halfway decent and I'm sure of it. <laughs> How long do you think that bandana is going to stay on? I give it 30 seconds. Oh, <laughs> oh the no, worm. the worm. Right in front of JB. Very well executed for a guy his size. Oh, yeah, I'll give him that. Of course, if you do a worm that good, you may be a snake in the grass. Ooh. Good call. <laughs> I've got a fear of worms. It's uh -oh. weird. <laughs> I know this music. Cobra and I spoke of him earlier. This is the 405 pound. Congolese nightmare. That Coming is it. The ring by his handler, his money manager, Mike Money. Gentlemen, I don't think that's his music. That's his footstep. Mm. A little thunder to go with the rain here. Oh, wow. The man makes an entrance. You can see this place light up. Is that Johnny Cash? <laughs> Mike Money. Let you know that he's got more dinero than you do. He has purchased the services of the Congolese Nightmare and uh, taken him under his wing. Matter of fact, he's <laughs> wow. Congolese looking at us. Okay. Don't look Not like a face you. I'd want to see in the morning. Ne never, never. severed head or coconut, I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. JB is an absolute terror. 
Let's all find out who JB's partner. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I could give you more than one guess who it is, but you don't even need that. Stranger things have happened, but I'm not so sure. Action Mike Jackson. How in the world is he going to partner with the Congolese nightmare if he doesn't even understand English? I know that's right. I can't understand him myself. Oh, Mike's going to get tackled by a fan. Yeah, a little girl. She almost took Mike down. Yeah, Mike can't believe he's partnered. Look at the look on his face. <laughs> he can't believe it. <laughs> he he was all excited then, wasn't he? <laughs> he was all happy that he came out and saw who it was. I guarantee you one thing, he's happy to be on his team. <laughs> it's uh, across that <laughs> ring. good point, Kurt. Action Mike Jackson with a Congolese nightmare. Oh, you know, I thought we'd seen it all when you see one half of the Washington Bullets partner with the exotic ones. <laughs> You can't get any more. I won't say Beauty and the Beast, but uh, definitely not Beauty and the Beast. Because my game is beautiful. Definitely the legend and the beast. I, I got one piece of advice for Ash and Mike Jackson. Stay away from his lunchbox. Absolutely. You don't want to get confused with it. Wow. You know, it's nightmare not used to partnering with anyone. This is going to be interesting. Oh, wow. Somebody's got a bra. For the Congolese, <laughs> I'm not sure he knows what that is. <laughs> That's a big size. <laughs> oh, look at him flexing them. <laughs> That's Congo size. Hey. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I've never seen that in my life. I've never seen. Maybe the Congolese thinking sexy, and I know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he's uh, saying his last right, so getting some encouragement from the uh, disembodied head over there. Take a look. Take a look in your living room. Woo. Just imagine you wake up to something like that every morning. There's got to be at least four Mike Jacksons in the Congolese night. Four or five. <laughs> Just in the pants. <laughs> and counting. You know, we spent all this time. Look at, uh, look at Joey Chaos and uh, Colin by <laughs> they're not sure what to make of this pairing either. I think we're going to draw a straw and see who gets to go first. <laughs> well, you know, look, look, Mike and the Congolese Nightmare dressed alike, so they could have been partners That's before. <laughs> but these two gentlemen who they face, and I hate it to be the, either one of them. I'm really surprised Mike would uh, start the match off here. I don't know how they got Congolese to stand on the apron. It, does he know how to tag? I, I believe Mike Money telling him. Oh, he's telling Mike Jackson, you better get on the same page with me, pal. That's his moneymaker, the Congolese nightmare. That's right. You can hear money screaming, you're not going to cost my man a shot at this. Mm. Got Columbine in the ring, locking up Mike Jackson. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> this is why it's the lethal lottery. We've seen tag teams and feuds with each other, actually having to partner up. And that you see two guys that you would never see teamed up together under normal circumstances, Action Mike Jackson and the Congolese Nightmare. But they, too, have to work together to get the battle back. Congolese Nightmare don't know what's going on. He's going to leave. <laughs> He's not used to hearing. Uh -oh. He found a midnight snack. You better get more than one security over there if you're right. If he's hungry, he's going to take it away from him, Bert. I, I'm not sure who controls him, Mike Money, or that thing he got in his hand. Mm, could be a combination of both. Hey. Mike Jackson there with double feet to the head. Ooh, back elbow. Oh. Nice reverse high cross body there. Chaos wants some, he can get some. Couple arm drags back down. Time for a hand knock. Meeting of the minds. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh. Nice teamwork by Columbine and Chaos. You know, they actually seem encouraged to work together 
as a unit here. Go to it. Over the top rope. Right at the feet of our camera, man. Uh -oh. oh my go, gosh! Go, go. Chaos. Uh -oh. No bridge. We've seen this before. Jackson could be doing a suicide dive on two men here. Yes, sir. Between the middle ropes and he connects on both of them. Look at the Congolese nightmare. <laughs> He's bewildered. He don't know what's going on. He is lost. <laughs> he doesn't have a clue right now. But you know what it should have happened? The Congolese nightmare needs to hook up with the Anderson kid. Mm. Show him how to put his face paint on. <laughs> I think it was just a mess of bananas. Mm -hmm. And it just yeah, kind of right. smeared all yeah, over his face. He probably just was eating back then. I have no yeah, idea. Those bananas were ripe. <laughs> that is a bright yellow. Well, well, Mr. Commissioner, he matches your ring. I like that. <laughs> Congolese color coordinated. Try they, saying that ten times very fast. They called early matched up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The skin the cap. Oh, and the head scissors. Very nice maneuver. If you and I were talking about weeks back, Cobra, that's a maneuver I've never seen Mike Jackson break out before. This is his 39th year in the wrestling business. <laughs> Always new tricks. Uh-oh. Was he going all the way up top? No. To the top. No. Wow. <laughs> no. Mm. That Mike Jackson, the high flyer. Uh-oh. Oh, he's actually going to tag him? Look at Congolese. He don't even know what his hand is. I'm surprised he didn't bite it. Wait a minute. Uh, he didn't tag Mike Jackson. Encourage it from the. <laughs> yeah, Mike said, I'll take care of business myself. Now he's looking right dead in his eyes. Mike Money telling Nightmare, you don't tag till I say you're ready to tag. Huh. Hmm. This is. Well, this is what you get with a lethal lottery. You get an odd cast of characters. Partnered up. Mike going from the wrist lock to the side headlock. Our slip. Shoulder take down. Blocked arm drag. Two of them blocked. Oh, okay. Very nice. Whatever man. works. He's going to get a two count. A little tug on the pants or the ref. You know that it's that. Jackson is not going to be able to stay in this match the whole night. Look at he's getting frustrated now, Kobe. You're right. He's showing his displeasure. Probably Lee's doing some kind of chant. Some kind of, is that like a seance? Some kind of spell? Well, we've seen tags before that was unannounced between partners. Let's see if Mike Jackson resorts to that kind of thing. Mike getting, now he's telling Mike money. You tell your man to tag me now. Was he trying to attack Mike Money? Because Jackson's probably tired. He needs somebody needs to get in there. Jackson needs a breather. He's been taking on both men for the better part of six or seven minutes. I know he's high fine and arm drag takedown in people, but it's, it's going to wear out soon. I feel like a two on one, too much for any man, even a 62 year old well conditioned athlete like Action Mike Jackson. Got a response from Nightmare, who shook his head no. Not exactly the thing you want to see if you're his tag team partner. Well, well why don't Jackson just go over there and tag him in? That's what I was thinking, Cobra, just uh, drill him on the head. You know, s slap some of that face paint around. I think somebody was trying to play tic-tac-toe on his tummy. Now Jackson know he don't wear enough for that young man. It's like an extra shirt. Body slam right in the middle, goes up. Oh. Big elbow drop. Mike is up, he's starting to get the fans in behind him. Of course, that's always gets behind him. Look like Mike is gonna walk him. He's going to walk him. Oh, going old school here, but which way does he go? Because Columbine is going to take him out, but I don't think he can trust Congolese Nightmare as far as he can throw him, which he can throw him. 
I mean, so far you do have eight sides of top rope to choose from. I'm very surprised Columbine got up. Oh, look at him. Congolese refusing to allow him to walk. Huh. Columbine going to try to get in there with him. Mike Money pointing to his head here. That may have been the strategy. No matter who teamed up with Congolese Nightmare, they don't want any part of it. Uh, <laughs> But they got to realize your partner can make or break you if he never gets in the ring. And if the nightmare don't get in, Justin's going to have a tough road to hold. Mm -hmm. He pulls them together. I think Mike Jackson's going to try one more time for a tag. Again for the tag here to the Congolese nightmare. Mm -hmm. Mike catches his knee right in the small of his back. I'm dying. Excited about the run. Now look at Nightmare. Actually leaning in, taking an interest in the proceedings going on inside the squared circle. Oh, reaching for the tag now. Did he take a knee with his leg collapse? <laughs> Surprised the ring had it collapsed. Thank goodness it's heavy duty. Great action shot there with Columbine with a reverse chin lock. On action, Mike Jackson. Mm, Jawbreaker. Mm. Nice back elbow by Columbine, quickly going up the top rope. Mm, Spinning elbow. Very nice. Nightmare seems to be grasping the concept of this. Yeah, you got your hand out for the tag, but it could be too late. Columbine and they're, they're working together. Yeah, not much. It's really chaos finally in the ring. Man. You know, it's been difficult for us to call guys not having any normally do our due diligence and prepared, you know, knowing the matches and the stipulations. We know the stipulations, but no one knew who anyone was with. Can you ask a question for me? What's that keep flying off of chaos? Little sure, rope. Is, is that wristbands or tape? I don't have no idea. He must be pumped up for this match. I've never seen tape fall off like that. I don't think posteriors like that. Oh, double Russian leg sweep on action Mike Jackson. Kind of mind. He got somebody to count. in their displeasure at Mike Money. Actually daring Congolese Nightmare to tag in to this contest. Jackson again going for the tag. He's definitely winded, Coach. Yes, he's he's tired. He's all worn out. Catches him swinging that breaker. You yeah. guys caught it earlier. We're going to see it in just about every match. <laughs> okay. This time twice. For good measure. Oh. Down comes Jackson. straps. Jackson calling for that elbow. If this is good strategy by the Nightmare, wait till everybody gets wore out, then get in. Mm -hmm. This would be the time to do it. But could it be a case of too little, too late here? Double Irish. Hit. Look at Jackson. Oh, he oh said, that's, that's it. it. That's it. But he's going to make him get in the ring. And it's set up perfect for the Nightmare. Both opponents are in the far. Oh, Mike telling him splash him. <laughs> Gives him a show. <laughs> I don't think he needs any help. <laughs> Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, scoop slam. Oh, we've seen this before. Congolese. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bottom Look out. This He's is going to be in the rope. Oh, my God. Here it's over. Oh, oh, my God. 
three. Wow. The Congolese Nightmare in action by Jackson. We now have half the field set for Battle Bowl. Wow. Wow. I'm confused. I'm scared. <laughs> well, thanks to Jackson pushing and prodding, and he's telling Mike Money, I don't appreciate the strategy that you installed. He took matters into his own hands, literally. <laughs> And I think that's a uh, 4.2 on the Richter scale. Mm -hmm. that, that ring may be curved looking at it now, guys. Maybe that's just the way the apron is draping. And chaos right now is in a bad place. We are back with South Atlanta Sports TV covering Peach State Wrestling Alliance at the Battle Bowl. Once again, always great to be joined by the commissioner, Shane Knowles. This time we got Patrick Warrior up here. And Tony, the Cobra Calhoun has got demoted. We had a little bit too much of his mouth earlier. And like you said, Commission, this is the second half. We already got eight participants in the Battle Bowl waiting on to see the next. And introducing first in this next match. From East Chicago, Indiana, the Dynamite Soul, Eric Walker. Dynamite Soul, Eric Walker. Uh, Walker and his kid. partner is. He looks like Dennis Ryman before he found a tattoo parlor. <laughs> gentlemen and his tag team partner from Tokyo, Japan, John O'Brien. Hey, hey Cobra, I thought we sent you down. Well, you did. Making his glorious return. Dixie Dynamite Billy Knight. Oh, wow, looks like Dynamite Soul Eric Walker and John O'Hare will be taking on Dixie Dynamite Billy Knight. Ladies and gentlemen, one half of their opponents from the heart of Dixie, the Dixie Dynamites, Billy Knight! His partner is... Oh wow, if that's who I think it is, business is about to pick up. Total protection, Mr. Hughes. My God almighty. Will be partnered with Dixie Dynamite, Billy Knight. You talk about a contrast of style. Oh, wow. Mr. Hughes. Total protection, 
Mr. Hayes. <laughs> been a while since he's been in the PWA ring. He, uh, well, he was one of the leading vote getters on the PWA website, pwaonline.net. In the uh, top four or five. Of course, you never know. Caden Knight was leading the poll, and he got put out in the very first match. Yep. Unpredictability. Mr. He is always in fantastic condition. Still strutting, Dollar. Still <laughs> strutting. Mr. Hughes still getting it done. Uh, it's changing pleasant streets with the uh, with the fans. <laughs> Is that what you call that, Bert? Pleasant streets. It's changing pleasant streets. I don't think nothing that came out of his mouth was pleasant. I'd say I, definitely grievous. Oh, wow. Call it like I see it. You know, even though he hasn't been at PWA in a year and a half, <laughs> definitely drawing the ire of the PWA fan base. It's always nice to have extra security here, Shane. Letting us know he is number one. You're right, Bert. Additional security on hand this evening. Hmm. This is the first we've seen. I was going to say, I thought Mr. Hughes was going to enter ring number two. Oh, he is. <laughs> He's getting a head start. Yeah. Maybe, uh, huh. well, ladies and gentlemen, his tag team partner. From Kansas City, total protection, Mr. Blues. Once again, this match is set for one fall with a 15 minute time limit, and the winner of this match will advance on to Battle Bowl. So we've got John O'Hare and Dynamite Soul Eric Walker against Mr. Hughes and Billy Knight. This is going to be interesting again. Well, we were talking earlier about partners. Mr. Hughes, as he quotes, he don't like nobody. That's exactly right. He hates everybody. That don't include me, though. Privy to information we don't know, Cody. I'm privileged to hold out information <laughs> that you ain't found out about. Wow. I definitely have to check with my sources. See if I can't get the same grapevine that Cobra's. Uh, no, out sir, it's not grapevine, it's kudzu. <laughs> <laughs> the same briar patch that he's feeding off of. Hmm. You got to have an invitation, sir. Invitation. <laughs> So it looks like Billy Knight and Dennis Rodman is going to start off. <laughs> <laughs> a show of respect here, a handshake. That, that surprises me. No one else has done that this evening. Well, this guy, he weighs, what, what 120 pounds soaking wet? Hmm. Definitely giving Mike, uh, Mike Posey a run for his money. He's one of the smallest competitors to ever arrive at PWA, and he's in there with one of the largest competitors. Total protection, Mr. Hughes. What a feather in the cap it would be for Billy Knight to uh, advance here and get a chance to be the new PWA Heritage ch uh, Champion. Makes me wonder, you know, if he's the champ, does he take that belt to UIW? He won it, right? Uh, if he's successful this evening. Uh, if he does become the new Heritage Champion, that, that leaves open the possibility he could take it to another promotion. Eight different promotions represented tonight in Battle Bowl among the 32 competitors. Yeah, well, just look what we got in the ring. UIW got, what is it, WWA4, is that it? That's correct. And then you got Platinum in there. Mm -hmm. so, and, uh, Already seen some stars from uh, Rampage Pro Wrestling, Platinum, uh, NWA Pro South, Alabama Championship Wrestling, Alabama Wrestling Alliance, uh, Universal Independent Wrestling, UIW, as you alluded to. Right now, Billy Knight finds himself in a scissors lock on the head. 
pops out. That's a funny made arm bar. Arm drag, take down of it. See him trying to help out his partner there, saying pull some hair, but I'm sure he didn't. See who's creeping in here. <clears throat> That's enough of that. Mr. Oh, Romain with authority telling Mr. Hughes, you're not a legal man. In this <laughs> nice reversal on that great drop kick there. Okay. <laughs> Eager to get in this match as he makes his way into the ring. Nice little whole take down to the front face lock. Goes back. Here comes in Missy Hughes. Mm -hmm. He's ready. Mm. Now he laid a punch in the soda place of the day. I'm telling you, you get hit by Mr. Hughes, you know it. Wow, still showing some agility. <laughs> Mr. Hughes, wow. All right, he dropped that elbow. I'm telling you, we haven't seen that since uh, the big cat days. Of one, Mr. Hughes. Going to get a two count. He's going to say that uh, three count was just a little bit slow. I, I agree with him. I don't think Rodney can count. Bristol, is it Romy? Bristol Romaine, as in the lettuce? Yeah, he's like cabbage to me. Hmm. I'm partial to iceberg lettuce. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Hughes <laughs> blowing his nose <laughs> in disdain. He can't breathe, he can't wrestle. Putting the boot up here, telling Billy Knight, let's go to town. Mm. Right in our vantage point. There's the tag. Getting a little ahead of themselves, but they are keeping it legal. Well, I'm surprised, Bert. Billy Knight and Mr. Hughes, actually, two veterans here working together. You know, this may not have surprised them as much as some of the young up and comers who may have just been in awe of the situation, caught up in the moment. Uh, these guys probably scouted no matter who their partner was in yeah. many a battle. I believe that is, you know, it's, I think it's a veteran um, a move. I think, it, I, think it, I think it works out more for the, the veteran wrestling as it does, like you say, the young ones. I mean, key word there is veteran. We can say it all night long, but they know what it takes to go on. You have to work as a team at first, mm -hmm. hash out your differences later. But to become the Heritage Championship, you have to move on through the first round. Yeah, it doesn't matter how you get there, as long as you're one of the final 16. Oh, we've seen this move before. <clears throat> he dropped that knee right on top of the back of that head. Mm -hmm. He's seeing colors and stars and clouds and sun and moon. He's seeing a whole lot of things right now. Hughes goes over for a count, only gets two, and I must say, Hughes is a real cool cat because I can't even keep my sunglasses on while driving. <laughs> and he's wrestling the hits. Cool as a cucumber, as you said. Hmm. Actually uh, putting a boot to our cameraman, Jay Taylor. <laughs> Should have kicked him. Should have laid it in. Should have just kicked, kicked him twice. Right. <laughs> Cobra likes violence, Bird. I don't know what it is. He, li he likes to see innocent people picked on, the meek taken advantage of. Like, I won't say Cobra's a despicable individual, but he certainly doesn't mind seeing <laughs> others on the receiving end. I like to look at pain on others' faces. Back up from Billy Knight gets a true count. Well, sir, it, it's from his wife. You know, he gets it from her, and then he has to dish it out because he, there's no match between him and his wife. That's right. Everything comes from the outside, son. You'll learn that one day. Hughes with a blatant chokehold on the rope. How is that blatant? Blatant? Because it's right. 
Look right there on your monitor. You can see the pain and agony in John O'Hare's face. I just think it was ugly. I didn't know what that was. Oh! oh. 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 oh Mr. Hughes. He may be singing soprano by the time this one's over. Ooh. Wow. Right hand's blocked. Mm. Connection again. All right, see Back mm. elbow. He's not dehydrated for sure. He might be after this match. It's a two count. Far be it for me, I think John O'Hare, even though he's got the momentum, he needs to take advantage here and tag in Eric Walker. The pressure man. Oh. Uh. Sidewalk slam. And that's a three count as Billy Knight saves to save, and the veterans do move on. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mr. winners Hughes of the match. And Billy Knight are now in battle. This is out of my Billy Knight. And total protection, Mr. Hughes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Knight and Mr. Hughes will advance to battle ball. So correct me if that's if I'm wrong, but that's number eight, excuse me, nine and ten. That's that correct. does move on. We got three more tag team matches to go. Well, I, I want I want you to just take a look what's happening in the ring. Oh, can't believe O'Hare, Layman Walker. Oh, <laughs> wow, wow! Like Sidewinder slap there. He slapped the taste out of his mouth. <laughs> O'Hare did have his chances to tag in the fresh man. He didn't take That's it. True. Oh, a good exit by Walker. Man. I think Walker frustrated feeling he could have done more this evening. Is that Jimmy Walker? Distant cousin. They sure look like him. And when I mean distant, Jimmy's never heard of him. Yeah. Dynamite. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, like a sidewinder slam. Slap. Yeah. O'Hare. And just like that, right, Mesh, switch a ring, moving on. Battle ball, lethal water to get out of the ring here. We've got another guy is ready to go, hungry for their chance. So Daniel Alexander making his way to the ring. Bird, a fan of the Smashing Pumpkins over here. Introducing first from Pomona, California, Pomona? Daniel Alexander. His tag team partner is. Uh oh. This will definitely be a gentleman who gets the crowd uh, agitated. Uh, this is the Georgia Junior Heavyweight Champion, J-Rod, has been drawn as Daniel Alexander's partner. That draws a big grin from Cobra. <laughs> and a chuckle. I like the way that J-Rod has changed face. I love it. You might be in the minority. In, uh, in that I don't know. Still a lot of followers here for J-Rod. Kind of a 50 50 here among the fan base. Some, uh, some showing their displeasure. Yeah, maybe some of some the state. I mean, that's almost a special shame because Hamburger Choice has split this crowd. <laughs> cheese or no cheese? <laughs> J Rod showing me that belt here. We've certainly had our differences. And, uh, 
last few weeks. But hey, regardless, I don't care about personal issues. He said, he got something he wanted to talk to you about, it, Mr. Noble. Yeah, apparently, he's 